Hey guys, what's up? Rise Tricks here from Rise Entertainment. Um, I'm gonna be doing a quick video of uh, a setup, another setup video. I did one a little bit ago, um, but I'm doing another one because I got a, um, a question on Instagram about my setup, uh, how I set everything up, and what exactly everything was. And I realized that the old setup video that I did was not very detailed, so I'm gonna be going into more detailed, um, you know, talk of how I set everything up and. That's about it guys, so I guess let's get into it. Anyways, alright. Obviously, you have your controller. Mine is a Scuf controller from Scuf Gaming. You have your headset. Mine is Ashtray 40s. You're going to need a computer for recording or whatever it is that you're doing. If you're going to be playing on the P you know, PC games, whatever it is. For right now, I do Xbox, so... Mine is used for Xbox, and if you want to copy mine, that's what mine is set up for. 360, 360 controller, uh, my headset mix amp, an Xbox One, an HD PVR2, um, uh, audio mic, like a live com mic to record things with, and then I have a gaming monitor. Alright, so I guess let's start on to the back of the Xbox One, because this one has the most stuff like on it. But um, obviously you're just going to have your power cord right here, and I have this all running down below this table, and it's all in a, you know, giant heap of a mess of, you know, there's like a bunch of different things plugged into the wall over there. I had to get one of those, you know, um, those things that you plug into the wall that gives you more rooms to plug stuff in. Anyways, I'm explaining that terribly, so I'm going to shut up now. But, uh... Right here on the Xbox One, it'll say HDMI out. Um, you want to put your HDMI cord into this, and you want to run this HDMI cord into the back of your PVR, and it needs to be on the HDMI in slot in the PVR right here, this one right here. Um, and that's going to be, that's how you're going to record your video and do all the things with your recording and anything you want to, you know, do with that. This cord right here is the optical cable. It's right next to this uh, HDMI that I was just talking about. This optical cable goes into my mix amp at the very top right here. And that's what gives you audio and gameplay, things like that. Um, then I have this HDMI on the back of the Xbox One. This HDMI is in the HDMI in slot on the Xbox One. And it runs over to my 360 and plugs into the back of my 360. And that allows me to play my 360 on my One. And it's really useful because a lot of times I'll be talking to people on the 360 while I'm playing the Xbox One. And that's why I have it that way. And I can get onto the 360 really quick and fast that way. I don't recommend really playing on it like competitively because it lags a lot when you do this. But... If you're just getting on to 360 to, uh, you know, chillax or talk to people that are on the 360 that don't have a one, I recommend doing this. It's really simple and easy. And you don't have to buy, like, a, you know, a fancy mic or anything. But, um, next cord is the one on top right here. It is unplugged into a USB port. You can't really see it very well. But this one on top right here plug is basically, this is just the power cord to my headset. It plugs in right here on my Astro A40 mix amp. And next cord after that, right underneath it, is this cord just uh, updates your controller for your Xbox One. If you ever need to update anything, you'll just plug your controller into this cord. And that's plugged into the back of my Xbox One um, using a USB port. Then you just have the connect cord, you know, nothing really special about that. And then an Ethernet cord. And the Ethernet cord just runs all the way into um, my other room and hooks into the router. So there's so nothing really special about that. But the PVR is a little bit more complicated. Um, I already told you that the HDMI um, and the in spot on the HD PVR 2 will run over here onto the HDMI out spot on the Xbox One. And then this other USB right here will run right into your gaming monitor. And that's, you know, that's all you do with that. And this cord right here is going to hook into your PC or laptop, whatever it is, via USB, USB port right here. And then you just have your power cord to the HD PVR2. 
So it's it's really not that complex or anything once you've done it and once you've seen somebody do it. It's relatively simple. There's not really a whole lot going on with it. Um, then you just have this mic right here and it plugs in to your computer via USB also. It's not really anything special. And the 360 really doesn't have any cords on it besides the USB which I already talked about which goes into my Xbox One. And then you have the power cable which runs down there and plugs into the wall. So does the gaming monitor. The only cords that the gaming monitor has in it is the HDMI from the PVR2 and its uh, power source. Um, then you have obviously the cord that connects into your Xbox One if you're playing the Xbox One um, or the 360 controller if you're playing the 360. If you're playing the One you have to have this adapter right here if you don't have you know a headset that was built originally for the Xbox One because the Astro A40s were originally built for the 360 so I had to get an adapter which is this little thing right here that whole little cord and basically you'll have this little you know the chat cable uh, plug into that adapter and then plug in down here at the bottom of uh, your Astro mix amp that has a little control tr kinda, ah, controller symbol and then this one right here, this cord that has a little headset, obviously will just hook into your headset right here on the Astro A40 mix amp. So um, that's really that's really all there is to it. There's not really anything that complex, and it's not you know really uh, you know when you see this or look at it, it may look like there's a lot of stuff going on, but it's really not that much. But um, that's really about it. I mean, the only other thing that I can think of is this cord right here that plugs in at the top of your um, a40 mix amp that says mp3 uh, this cord you can use for many different things uh, the end will look like this it has the it's the exact same on both ends but you can plug this into your computer and listen to music or you can plug it into speakers and listen to music you can plug it in your phone and talk on the phone you could Skype people and you can hear people on the Skype if you plug this into your computer there's a lot of applications you can use for this or you can record uh, your your talking and gameplay and stuff like do a live com if you plug this into your computer so there's a lot of applications with this and I've used it in pretty much every single one so there's really not a whole lot going on and it's not that complex I really hope this helped for any of you all that didn't know how to set it up um, if you all are still tr struggling any of you all that wanted to know how to set it up and you're still struggling on how to set it up uh, just comment in the video and I'll try to explain it a little bit more um, I don't really know how I can explain it any better. I'm going to be moving houses though in the next uh, five or six months and I'm going to be trying to get a desk and get everything more organized and I'm going to be upgrading my setup a lot, you know, a lot better to where it's more organized and I have better equipment and other stuff. And whenever that happens, um, I'm going to make another video and maybe I can explain it better in that one. I don't know because it's more organized and there's like less wires just put everywhere like, you know, this like the one I have right now is um, I'm also going to be doing when I get a when I do the setup video I'm gonna have a new computer in there as well I think by then and I'm gonna be doing a video on the computer just alone because I, it's a computer that I'm gonna build so I'm gonna be putting links in the description of where I got all the parts and what the parts are and what they do and a video of me putting together the computer itself so um you know just be aware of that that should be happening in the next you know six months or so and really that's that's all there is to it guys there's not a whole lot going on um that's how i have everything set up and hope hopefully this helped you guys and i'll see you guys later